How's it going troops? Jordan here and today I've got some information that's not regarding Call of Duty 2015 or Black Ops 3 but it is to do with Sledgehammer's future games and also some tidbits of information that might hint us towards the next game or not, I don't know. But it's uh, something interesting anyway that I thought I'd show you guys. It's not a lot but um, you know it's just something nice to uh, just to share. So basically a fan friendly chief from Sledgehammer was offered an interview by the website Jewel Shockers and uh, he accepted the offer and uh, basically just answered a few questions and uh, maybe possibly give us some hints here and there. So the first question that he was asked was about any Call of Duty games being remastered or any of them that's going to be happening in the near future and uh, basically replied saying there are tons of games that I've played in my career that I would love to play again. Remastered and next generation experience right. From God of War to Ratchet and Clank so I get the appeal and I, you know, my heart is closest to Call of Duty and I love going back and playing Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 and so I can tell you we're not working on any remastered edition at Sledgehammer. I think there's opportunity for Call of Duty but that said, I don't know if anybody is working on it, we're not working on it. So what we can get from this information is that Sledgehammer are not working on any remastered Call of Duty games. However, this doesn't mean that there aren't any currently in the works or there aren't any that's going to be happening in the near future. Chances are, if there was going to be a remastered Call of Duty game, it's most likely going to be done by an external studio such as Raven Software. Raven Software, obviously, they uh, they did Call of Duty Online, so I think Raven would be the perfect um, you know developer to bring these remastered Call of Duty games if they were to happen uh, over to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Moving on to the next question that was asked, and that was to do with... Sledgehammer's future with Call of Duty and uh, you know what they have in uh, you know in mind and the reply that DualShock has got was we're coming out of Advanced Warfare very proud and what that game is and what it means to fans but we're also listening closely to what fans want and ideas about how to continue that going forward so yeah everything is on the table the team is focused on the DLC but we've talked about new ways to play whether that's branching storylines or third person mode or crazy changes to the multiplayer we have the luxury of already being in pre-production of our next game, so all ideas are good ideas at this point. Now, obviously this comes at no surprise that they are in pre-production of their next Call of Duty game, which is Call of Duty 2017. Um, it's most likely going to be Advanced Warfare 2, um, you know, but, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously it's going to be in pre-production because as soon as their game comes out, that's literally when they wipe the slate clean, and they start afresh on their next Call of Duty game. Obviously, they have a part of the team that does the DLC, you know, and works on patches and all that. But uh, you know, for the main part, you know, it's all about idea generation uh, for pre-production. And obviously, they'll present that in a pitch to uh, Activision, and then you know, Activision will go, "Yep, good idea," or yeah, maybe you want to change this around. But um, you know, that's basically generally what happens around this time of year, as soon as uh, you know the game is launched. So, is it going to be Advanced Warfare 2? Well, I think it's most likely going to be. I mean. I hate to give this out, but spoiler alert, there was a cliffhanger at the end of Advanced Warfare's campaign. So, maybe that Advanced Warfare 2 is a possibility. I mean, for all that we know, it could be something new. Who knows? But right now, I'm betting on Advanced Warfare 2. I think that's the most likely, uh, you know, name it's going to be. And finally, the last question I was asked was whether uh, the Call of Duty franchise would ever have a strong female lead character in future Call of Duty games. And this was actually from Michael Condry. Uh, Michael Condry replied saying, Absolutely, after speaking with military advisors, strong female characters, strong female military presences are going to be in the future, and we're seeing it today. So absolutely, you would expect to see that one day in Call of Duty. Now, obviously we've seen some female uh, lead characters such as uh, Isabel Dufontaine from Call of Duty 3, uh, Chloe Lynch aka Karma from Black Ops 2, and obviously with Advanced Warfare we have Lana who's an ex-Spetsnaz. So... This would doesn't really surprise me that they're going to be hoping to have more female characters in future Call of Duty games. But what if the character you played was a female? Because that's not been done with Call of Duty. Sure, we've had female protagonists and you know female characters, but you've actually never played as a female character. It's always been a male. So how do you feel if maybe Advanced Warfare 2 has you not playing as Jack Mitchell, maybe you play as Lana, maybe you mix it up between Jack Mitchell and Lana if there is to be Advanced Warfare 2. You know, how would you feel playing as a female rather than a male? Now, don't call me a sexist, but I just prefer to play as a male. I know that's because I'm, I'm a male myself, but, you know, I just prefer to play with a male. I think there should be an option that you get to play as a female, or maybe even 
uh, some missions where you alternate between playing as a male and a female. I'd be totally fine with that, but personally, I'd stick with male. But at the end of the day, it's up to what uh, you know the developers and what uh, Activision want. But uh, you know, let me know in the comment section. Would you mind having a female character? Would you mind playing as a female character, or you know, do you want to keep it as a male character? I'd be interested to know. So that basically ends this uh, video, guys. So like I said, it wasn't a lot of information, but we did get some tad bits of information like uh, Sledgehammer are not working on any Call of Duty remasters. That's something that we never knew. But now we do know, is it going to happen? Maybe in the next couple of years, maybe we might see a Call of Duty remastered. I mean, maybe there's going to be a Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare anniversary. Uh, you know, who knows? But, um, you know, it's interesting anyway to, uh, you know, take a look at this information and, uh, you know, try and, uh, try and figure out what info we can get from this. So... If you did enjoy the video, then don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it a lot. And until my next video, I thank you for watching, stay true to me troops, and I'll see you in game.